Hello, today we're going to talk about question tags. We use them quite a lot in English. They're basically very short sentences that tag on. Hello, today we're going to talk about question tags. We use them a lot in English. Basically, they're very short questions that tag on to the end of a sentence. We can use them in spoken or written English, but they're more common in spoken English. We use them a lot in spoken English, basically to ask if something is true or to ask people to agree with us. An example, it's cold today, isn't it? It's Tuesday today, isn't it? Did you notice my pronunciation? Uh, in those two examples. Listen again. It's cold today, isn't it? It's Tuesday today, isn't it? In the first question, my voice went down at the end. And we use that to show that I think this is a fact and I want you to agree with me. The second one, it's Tuesday today, isn't it? I'm not sure if it's true and I'm asking you if I'm right that it's Tuesday or not. I mean, it's pretty hard at the moment with lockdown to know what day is what, isn't it? There you go. Another example. So let's look at the form. If we have a positive sentence or a positive statement, we use a negative question tag. If we have a negative sentence or statement, we use a positive question tag. We must use the same pronoun in the question tag as we have in the sentence or a corresponding pronoun if we use a noun. Let's look at some examples. With the verb to be, you're a student, aren't you? So you are is positive in the question tag aren't you okay we swap the word order around so we have the verb and then the pronoun at the end and um we use the same pronoun here john is friendly isn't he so again we've got the positive verb to be in the sentence in the question tag we use a negative one John is a noun and he is male, so we use he in the question tag. John is, isn't he? If we use I am in the sentence, in the question tag, we need to say aren't I. For example, I'm right, aren't I? Moving on to the verb have, you've got the keys, haven't you? So this is more common with a present perfect tense or perhaps even past perfect. Um, you've, haven't you? You've is short for you have. So in the question tag, we've got the negative form and we swap the word order around. You've got the keys, haven't you? He hasn't done his homework yet, has he? If we look at other verbs, ones that take do, don't, did, didn't in the negative or the questions, they don't play video games, do they? They went to the park yesterday, didn't they? So notice in the second example, they went to the park. Where We've got a positive verb here and there's no auxiliary verb. But the auxiliary verb that we normally use with um, those verbs to make them negative is didn't. So we have that in the question tag. More examples. Thumbs up. Here we go. <laughs> with modal verbs. They can swim, can't they? 
you won't leave without me, will you? So we use the same modal verb, but just change it to positive or negative accordingly. There's one exception, and that is let's. If we use let's, the question tag is shall. Shall we? Let's watch a film, shall we? Thank you for watching.